Okay, I'm a little late on this bandwagon, but I thought I would do the project polish. As you can normally tell by my videos, I don't wear a lot of nail polish. There are a couple reasons. The first one being my nails suck. They're brittle, they break if they get too long, and my index fingers actually curve downward on the outside as they, they grow longer. So my nails suck. I am terrible at painting my nails, especially on my non-dominant hand. So you'll see I painted them today and they look like crap because I am just not good at painting my left hand and I'm just lazy and it takes too long to dry and I had drying drops and I lost them so now I have to resort to using Pam which actually does work but it's just freaking messy so I have a lot of nail polish anyway and I am going to be doing a nail polish declutter but for now I'm going to jump on the project polish bandwagon with minis and I don't really have a set number that I want to use. I have all these minis and a few other things and I just want to use up what I can by the end of the year. So let's get started. The first things that I have are these base and top coat, if I can get them like this, from Milani. And I've had these for quite a while. They're still fine though. They're not gloopy or anything. So I do want to use those. I also have this little mini top coat uh, from OPI. And this is the Rep Dry top coat. And that's just a mini size. And this is what I actually have on right now, Butter London Minis in Slapper and Knackered. Then I want to use this Deja Vu Dead Sea Minerals Cuticle Oil. And I got this in a kit from one of those stands at the mall. <laughs> and the only reason I got it is because it was around Christmas time and there was a special on like buying a couple so I gave them as gifts. So I ended up with one. Then I went to use this Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. And it is still basically full. Then I have this LA Girl Polka Dot Nail Art Collection. And it just has these three little mini colors but I figure I can use the tool on any of these and or any of these polishes on any of these so I want to use that I haven't even opened it and then I have these three little Ciate minis in antique brooch love letter and heirloom and I really liked the way this looks, but it looks so dirty on my nails because it does look antique. So it's got that kind of old penny look where it gets green around the edges and this does the same thing. So I need to find something to do with this because it just was not cute. And these are all the little mini Essies that I have and you can tell I don't really use them. They're starting to separate, but they'll mix back together so it'll be fine. And the first one is Cocktail Bling, then, oh, Brazilian. This one doesn't have a name on it. I guess it fell off. Um, Bobbing for Bobbles, and I actually like that one. Ooh. Bangle Jangle. I always hold them upside down. Smooth sailing. Ah, again. Meet me at sunset, which looks a lot like this one, except I think this one has shimmer in it. 
and I got one right. Super Bossa Nova. Okay, and then I have these OPI ones. None of these OPI ones have colors on the bottom, and I threw out all the packaging, obviously, quite a while ago. But I have this color, which may be showing up pink, but it's actually like a red. Like, slightly pinky sort of red, but is red. And this gray one... This blue one with sparkles. This purple one with sparkles. This one that has separated. Like this kind of pearly purple one. This one right here, which also might be showing up a little pink, but it is in fact sparkly red. And this one here, this glittery And these ones here are Nicole by OPI. They are also separating. I can't even tell what that color is supposed to be. I think it's probably a blue, bluish green, but let me check. I'll have to mix that up somehow because that is not showing up. I think these were from a Kardashian set. Then this kind of reddy brown one. These separated badly. These aren't even the oldest ones in here. This color and this glitter color. And none of those have names on them either. Okay, and then I have these simple colors ones, and these actually fared much better sitting in there. And this is a sparkly red in Sugar Sugar, a regular red in Go Go Girl, this purple in Let's Talk, this yellow in Canary Yellow, this blue here in Love Nails, and a sparkly silver in Out of This World. Oh, and one was missing this green one here in San Francisco. Okay, and then I have these little Hello Kitty ones. And I think my sister gave me these as like just kind of an add-on Christmas gift. So a couple of them have little Hello Kitty charms, which I actually need to take off and, and put somewhere because those are cute. I don't think they have names either. But this one's kind of like a jelly red. Then a jelly blue. A pink that's kind of pearly. More hot pink. And this is a silver. We've got another little Hell Kitty. Those are cute. And then I have like these two little random ones, this Nails Ink one that I got from some box, and I think it's called Brook Street, right there. And then I have this Zoya one in Dove. And this is everything that I'm going to be working on for my project polish. I don't have a specific number necessarily that I want to use. I just want to get through some of them. I don't think I've ever finished a nail polish before in my life. Even the ones that I had as a teenager when I only had like five of them. I don't think I ever finished any of them. So I figured I should start with minis to try to finish them. And maybe it'll help me... Uh, start painting my nails again. I used to love it when I was a teenager and then I realized what a big pain in the ass it was and how shitty my nails were. So, and now I don't like it. But, I have a ton of it so I need to try to use it and I'm going to start here. But that is it for now and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.